they rule. The monarch, on the other hand, reigns but does not rule, possesses the power but does not exercise it. By delegating her powers instead of exercising her powers, the queen is left safely outside and above the conflicts and divisions of the political process. She is protected from becoming a target of political hostilities. Meanwhile, the general public is kept in the dark about the true powers that the queen actually possesses, powers that she delegates but has not yet chosen to exercise. So what exactly are these powers that the queen possesses but has not chosen to exercise? Her powers include the power to choose the Prime Minister and to dismiss the Prime Minister through her Governor General, the power to dismiss ministers and the government, the power to dissolve Parliament and call new elections, the power to refuse legislation passed by Parliament, the power to command the armed forces and raise a personal militia. She has the power to read confidential government documents and intelligence reports the power to declare a state of emergency and issue proclamations. She has the power to call elections and enact laws in Her Majesty's name. Few people realize that not a single law is passed without the Queen's consent. She has the power to exercise Crown prerogatives, which means the Queen can declare war through her Prime Minister without even the agreement of Parliament. She has the power to grant and bestow titles and honors like Sir, the power to pardon convicted criminals. So why has the Queen been allowed to legally possess all of these supreme powers? For the sake of tradition? What exactly is the meaning of the term the Crown? The Crown is defined as executive powers exercised in the name of the monarch. The actual Crown itself worn by the monarch is a symbol of the Queen's executive powers. The Parliamentary Oaths Act of 1866 requires all leaders of 54 Commonwealth nations to swear an oath of loyalty to the Queen, not to the people who elected them. I swear by Almighty God that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth, her heirs and successors according to law, so help me God. Those who do not swear allegiance to the Queen are deemed unfit for office, including the Prime Minister, police, military, judges, legislators, lawyers, and public servants. New citizens to the Queen's Commonwealth nations must swear allegiance to Her Majesty the Queen. Public land in the Queen's colonies like Canada is called Crown Land and includes Aboriginal land. Government corporations are called Crown Corporations. The Central Bank of Canada and the Canadian Mint are Crown Corporations.